The topic that we are going to discuss is called the binding problem, and we will be analyzing two fe theories, feature binding and temporal synchronization. So what is the binding problem? In this diagram, you see uh, two different shapes, one being a square, which is red, and a circle that's blue. And in this example, we're trying to un understand uh, how does the brain associate the redness of the square and the blueness of the circle. By looking at these two images, you can see from the faster moving image that your eye is having trouble following which color is associated with the moving dots and which is associated with the still dots. This demonstrates the main issue of the binding problem. According to the feature binding theory, what we see first is a set of free floating features. So you look out at it, at your, you open your eyes and you see just a bunch of shapes and colors and textures but none of them are associated with a particular object. Not until we see here the active attention, which is analogy here is the flashlight. So when you focus on a particular object, this is the mechanism that pulls all the features together so you can see one coherent object. The temporal synchrony theory, in contrast, deals more with the neural networks. In order for binding to occur, neurons have to fire together in synchrony. So if, two, uh, if, a, if within an object, certain features um, are recognized by the brain to go together, then neurons will fire together to create that um, recognition. Here we see two models, the feature binding model and the tempor temporal synchronization model. We see the structure of them is rather similar in the sense that they're both top down and bottom up processes. Here's the low level on both and here's the top level of both. But in the feature binding we've got a recognition network here which is kind of like a filter of all your past memories and experiences. Whereas in temporal synchrony uh, you start with, um, you have layers where the outputs are outputs of neural firing that connect to other uh, higher up la layers of neurons firing. To summarize our analysis of, of our findings, in feature binding, we see a world of floating features, and then through focus attention, we aggregate the attributes of these features. And you, this uses both a top-down and bottom-up hierarchy approach. However, the exact physical mechanism is unknown. In temporal synchronization involving neural networks, we see first whole objects, and then we separate out individual features for identification and classification. This also uses both a top-down and bottom-up approach, and the exact physical mechanism is still unknown. In conclusion, we've discovered that the feature binding theory has more experimental evidence to support it. Um, we've had trouble applying the temporal synchronization theory to real world scenarios. Um, however, it is not definite that the two theories are mutually exclusive. Uh, it could be that temporal synchronization is actually a part of the feature binding recognition network. Overall, however, we decided that feature binding has more support than temporal synchronization. These are our references.